Guatemala. This is our friend Selvin. Hola. Been this year, we've made it across the border. I did no footage of the border because who really cares? The scene at the border. Everyone is here. But all you really need to know is that we did Colectivo and then we took a taxi for the last hour. Uh, we had some fantastic tamales at a gas station. And now we're over the border. We're in Huehuetenango and we're looking for a place called Restaurante del Arbol. La Casa del Arbol. Casa del Arbol, the treehouse restaurant. And hopefully we're going to find bien ricos cosas allá. Right, Luna? Are you excited to be in Guatemala? Fine. You've been talking about going to Guatemala for weeks. Now we're here. I'm afraid to go to the airport, everyone. Okay, good. Tengo dos y media. No, dos. Dos. Están reparando la ruta. Ajá. Entonces. We're at a place called the Treehouse. I just want to say thank you so much to the Heart of Travel. I'm good friends with Chelsea and Anna who run that spot. I've talked about them lots. They do the best tours of Guatemala, lots of really good off the beaten path, and they help me with Selvin, who knows everything about this area, which is great. He's taking us tomorrow on a tour, and he also came and picked me up at the border, and their pricing is fantastic, and uh, I'll leave a link below. So you should get a hold of them. This was like the most, I've done that border so many times, and this is the most painless. The COVID shit was annoying, but it wasn't that bad. And now we're two hours from the border at Huehuetenango and we're going to go to this place, the tree house, and see what's up. It's like right off the busiest street, up into a tree. There's no sign, nothing. This is so great at night. Morning. We're in Shayla. We're looking for a lavenderia. No I. But we bought some uh, duraznos. Or oh, no, fruit. Um, we haven't eaten fruit in like three days. There was no fruit in Lagos de Montebello. I didn't know, so I didn't bring any. But we live at the beach, baby. We eat a lot of fruit. So I just bought a bunch on the side of the road. One of the beautiful things about Guatemala is like every last lick of it is organic and local no not not one sticker roundup garbage need to wash your fucking fruit shit is so nice to be back anyway we're in Shayla and we're going on an adventure today it's really cold here like hella cold is it cold yeah <laughs> is it colder than San Cristobal uh very cold we don't know if it's colder than St. Cristobal, but it might be. Anyways, drop in. 
Oh, he was a cute little couple. Finally, now. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Get our cool Airbnb. That's right. It's like a bunch of rooms. And this one's our room. It's massive! You know what? It's just a bedroom here, and yet it's kind of got its shit together more than that apartment we stayed in. Like, there's just good hangers, there's it's just their stuff. It's tricked out, and it's warm at night because it's freezing here. Wow. Look at this. Ikienes. It's some kind of fancy building. I wanna take the uh, uh. Try not to be that annoying white girl who like gets a ton of photos of Mayan ladies, but I tell you, some of these women are fucking breathtaking. Tiny and so strong and all their clothes are made by hand. Some of their clothes are worth like a thousand dollars because they're made by hand that we built. You know? It's hard not to just be snap, snap, snappy. Uh, but anyway, we're taking a little bit of a Pueblo tour with Selwyn today right and ah, and uh, mostly we're looking at churches and shit. And then we're gonna go to some hot springs. And again, this is another like awesome day that's been provided by the Heart and Travel. Chelsea and Anna, thank you so much. This has been so nice for us. Ready? Point the camera at me. Here we go. Fuentes Georginas. Look at this, look at this. Witchy, witchy climate. It it's not it's not as hot as it looks. I mean for us it was kind of cool but it's nice. It's like healing water still and really nice people here. Everyone's so nice. Something that I really love about Latin America and the further south you go, I mean I don't know about South America, but at least in North America, the further south you go into Central America, the nicer people are. Everyone just you know wants to talk and say hi like these guys came here and they're like barbecuing up there. Look at the look. Anyway, now we're gonna go and get some food. I don't know where we're gonna go. We could go somewhere like, real, maybe Selwyn has an idea, but we might just go to Pollo Campero. 
which is fast food here, but it's Guatemaltecan, Teca, and definitely Guatemalans love pollo campero. Here we go, Luna. This is the famous pollo campero. Vamanos. Oh. There's a lineup. That's how popular it is. What do you think, Luna? Are you excited to eat your fried chicken? No? This is the healthiest thing on the menu. I what do you think, Luna? Nougat time? Pollo Campero. It's a rite of passage. Fast food that comes with tortillas. Hecho a mano. Mexico, listen up. to get a story about a church. I don't, I don't think I need this here. This looks like a small town. But here we are. Look at this thing's of beauty. Like they all are. Everything is so ancient and gorgeous here. We just went to the first church ever built and now this is like, I don't know, I guess I'm about to get the story, but this is like the Mayan version. So there's a lot of like, obviously the, the Jesus freaks tried to convert the Mayans, it's still going on. Texas over there. And then there are some places where they kind of mix together and I think this is one of the examples of the mix mixy. I like it, much cooler. Dance moves, dance moves, woo, dance moves. Love it. 